Hydroelectric energy companies around the world are striving to improve their sustainability. EDF runs a large number of hydroelectric dams and power plants in France. We went to the French Alps to find out how they're managing to increase their energy output whilst protecting the local environment. This hydroelectricity power plant blends almost seamlessly into its surroundings in the French Alps. Most of the inner workings of the Romanche Gave site are set deep inside the rocky core of the Beldon mountain range. The Romanche River has been used to create hydroelectricity for more than a century. But EDF has transformed the way it harnesses the power of nature here in order to help protect it. This was the most important hydro project in France. And it's very important for EDF because Gave is a good example of what we can do to develop sustainable hydropower and to show that we can simultaneously develop a carbon-free and renewable energy and respect the environment. Creating this subterranean power plant, one of France's largest, cost 400 million euros and took 10 years to complete. Engineers had to blast and drill their way through the mountainside to create a 10 kilometer long tunnel. Taking the operation underground dramatically reduces its ongoing impact on the surrounding area. And in terms of productivity, this plant can generate 40% more electricity than the six power stations and five dams it's replaced. The Romange Gave site here in France is increasing its output of energy, but while still protecting the environment. Finding ways to generate more clean, green, renewable power is a global concern. And safeguarding the environment and biodiversity at a very local level is at the heart of the project here. And it's an example that can be followed around the world. The unused dams and power stations are being dismantled. Only one will remain, a refurbished reminder of the area's heritage. Four hectares of industrial wasteland will become natural alpine landscape, a painstaking process that's expected to take three years. Le démantèlement a un enjeu particulier, qui est la gestion des déchets qui sont produits par la déconstruction des centrales. EDF identifie et trie minutieusement tous les déchets entre valorisables et déchets ultimes afin de valoriser au maximum les déchets sur les sites. On a donc un impact CO2 moindre et un volume de déchets ultimes très faible. C'est très, très agréable de travailler et de porter ce projet car en fait le, le visage de la vallée de la Romanche va être considérablement amélioré et elle va être beaucoup plus naturelle qu'actuellement. Further along the river, its bed and banks are already being restored to nature. Botanical expertise has been drafted in to keep the flora faithful to its roots. Tout a été fait en végétal local, donc c'est vraiment des végétaux sauvages d'origine locale qui ont été utilisés et, et ça a été même prélevé à l'échelle de la vallée de la Romage. C'est un grand changement parce que moi je l'ai connu avec la terre à nu. Il n'y avait vraiment rien, il n'y avait quasi même plus de sol, il y avait beaucoup de cailloux. Et du coup, de voir aujourd'hui cette végétation qui a repris avec de la diversité, on observe pas mal d'insectes, donc c'est quand même un bon indicateur lorsqu'il y a des insectes dans un milieu de fonctionnalité écologique du milieu. Donc oui, je suis, je suis assez satisfaite. The International Hydropower Association wants to ensure all facilities are taking steps to improve the way they impact on their surroundings. This project in the French Alps was independently assessed under the Hydropower Sustainability Assessment Protocol and scored highly for its environmental management. It means the Romanche Valley can regain the natural beauty of its past while moving towards a greener future. <laughs>